Welcome to WefTech New Orleans 2010. I'm Steve Fitzsimmons with Rotor, a product sales manager. And I've been asked to talk a little bit about our Rotor process control valve actuators. These are uh, continuous modulating products used in many process industries, not just the water, wastewater. We've got units that are rotary, linear, uh, have a broad range of torque and thrust capabilities. We have units that uh, have local remote stations. We have units that you work from the board directly, and we also have units which are non-intrusive. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about this unit. This is our newest. This is a CVA. It's a control valve actuator. It can be used in place of a pneumatic spring diaphragm. The whole package is right here, what you see. This is the valve assembly with the mounting hardware. This is the entire package. So once you put power to this, you don't need any air. You don't need any smart positioner. It's all in this one compact unit. The Rotor philosophy is sealed for life, so this unit has been designed in such a way that there's no water ingress with the double seal technology. We have Bluetooth, where we set up this through software. You can use a PDA or a heart communicator, or you can use a laptop computer. We also have some great features on this. It's got 0.1% resolution. And how this happens is we've got a brushless DC motor with no wear. We have a permanently lubed gear train, very efficient. We also have sensors, two absolute encoders on the output shaft of the motor and on the output shaft of the stem. So we can calculate the difference between those two and get the 0.1% resolution. The interesting thing about this product uh, is it also has failed to position capabilities. What it has is it uses a technology called supercapacitors, and supercapacitors are used in NASA, they're used in commercial aircraft. They take uh, high energy density, they charge very quickly, and they discharge very quickly. They don't have the issues that batteries have with uh, memory, which over time the batteries wear out. Um, the supercapacitors here are uh, for the life of the actuator, and in the field position capability, you can go close, open, in place, or you can go anywhere in the full stroke of the valve. The interesting thing here is I'll just show you when I talked before about comms, we have a foundation field bus and heart, which you use this device, Bluetooth, and you have a light communicator to talk with this uh, unit. You could have 50, 100 of these in a space, and you'd have valve tags, which one would be uh, noted as, and when you communicate, you only communicate with one at a time, and there's password protection, so there is security. You can't select all the actuators in the range and talk to them all at the same time. You only talk to them. Uh, so that's another nice feature because sometimes uh, security in the wireless days, talking to wireless heart is very important. So again, uh, this uh, can be an electric, uh, can be replaced with a pneumatic spring diaphragm. It's also used in a lot of pump applications, any kind of uh, activity where you need fine, fine control. Again, 0.1% accuracy. So if there's anything else we can do for you, please, uh, for more information, go to www.rotor.com. Thank you.